that rhinoplasty, more than anything I can imagine, is both the agony and this is the ecstasy for me. So I thank you all. to run when they see that, but I'll try to be quick. Under 30 minutes, owner. <laughs> Thank you again, Dr. Tobias, for the great work that you have done for the society. And I wish to be very successful in my presidency. And this is a big honor for me to be the president of this unique society. Uh, I have been doing so many uh, uh, rhinoplasty, so uh, I love my job in rhinoplasty. So I am so proud to be involved in the society, and this is a big, really big honor to be the president of the society. Thank you, everyone, very much. I'll be, I think, the first uh, uh, president who will be outside of the uh, United States. I am very glad and very proud of it. And <clears throat> for the future, we need to promote the uh, rhinoplasty and make the education much better and much uh, the level uh, we have to make it higher. And also, we have to invite many plastic surgeons from each country. My idea, idea is that to choose at least two or three uh, competent plastic surgeons who are interested in rhinoplasty from each country in the world. Uh, in Europe, in Asia, everywhere. Because this society, as we discussed yesterday, last night, this is an international society. The, of course, the headquarters is in the United States, but this is an international because we have Turkish, Indian, uh, uh, from uh, France, from Germany, uh, from many countries uh, are members. Uh, so I, I will try to make these people coming uh, uh, involved in this society and make this society much bigger and more interested all over the world. And for the next meeting, I think in Las Vegas, the meeting will be big success by inviting many people. And Las Vegas is a very interesting city. <laughs> it will be great attendance, I believe. Okay.